calculate the difference between simple interest and compound interest. If $15,000 in, $15, uh, invested for two years at the rate of 6% per annum. So whenever you have 6%, even if suppose you don't have per annum, it is always uh, understood to be. Uh, when it is say 6%, it is always per 100 per year. Per 100. Percent is always, of course, after 100 per year. That's always should be very clear, even if suppose this is not given. If it says 6%, you should understand it's 100 for every 100 uh, per year. Okay. So, I would like to go over this in two different ways so that you understand what is simple interest and compound interest because that's very important for you to understand the maths, okay, not only the process. Okay, so simple interest. So let's talk about first the simple interest. Now simple interest, when you talk about simple interest, it's interest that you get only on the amount that you are uh, putting in which is called the principal. Okay, so let, let us try, uh, understand the terminologies. Uh, year 15,000 is called the principal, P-A-L. The principal that is the amount that you're investing, which is 15,000, okay? Or, uh, or the rate of interest, so let me write the whole thing, rate of interest, interest, which is R, uh, so this is lowercase r is 8% and number of years number of years is 2 so in simple interest uh, you don't get interest on interest so what do I mean so after one year so this is per 100 per year or per annum so after the first year or after one year okay after one year the interest that you will get would be 15,000 times 6% okay so after one year you will have 6% uh, of this so times 6 over 100 which is 15,000 times uh, 0 0.06 okay let me use a calculator so this is 15,000 15,000 times 0 0.06 so that's interest that you get for one year is $900 one year you'll get after one year you'll get $900 so after the second year after say two years you don't get any interest on this interest again you'll get 15,000 times 0 0.06 so again you'll get $900 so the total interest so you can say the total interest that you get would be $1,800 that means you get 900 in the first year and 900 in the second year interest doesn't change so in other words this does not earn any interest in simple interest okay now let us look at compound interest compound interest is different okay so in compound interest I want you to think what will happen in the first year okay in the first year after after one year after one year okay you will have say 15,000 times 0 0.06 which is nine hundred dollars so after one year you will get this as your interest so after the second year or after two years after two years you for the second year you'll get interest on fifteen thousand nine hundred because this is the interest of the first year when you calculate from the interest of the second year the interest of the first year would be added to the principal of the first year times 0 0.06 uh, so let me again use uh, 15,900 times 0 0.06 which is 900 and 
954, which is 954. So the total interest or the total interest in compound interest would be 18,000. $1,854. Okay, so in other words, you get $54 more in compound interest. Okay, now if you want to do, if you don't want to do in two steps in compound interest, how would you do? So let us, let me explain that. Okay, now when you, if the interest rate is 6%, uh, your principal will increase at a rate of 6%. So in other words, after one year, after one year, your amount or the principal will become 15,000 times 1.06 because you're increasing at a rate of 6%. Uh, so this is, uh, when you're increasing at a rate of 6%, the factor is 1.06. I hope you understand why I wrote 1.06. I'll explain that. So let us do this on a calculator. So this is 15,000 times 1.06, which is 15,900. That's what we saw. That's what we saw. After one year, you got the interest of 900. Okay. So if you multiply 15,000 times 1, you'll get 15,000. And 15 times 1,000. 15,000 times 0 0.06 will give you 900. So if you want to directly get the amount, after one year you'll have to multiply by 1.06. So I'll, I'll, not, I'll not write 15,000, oops, I'll not write 15,900, I will leave this as this. So after two years, after two years, your amount your amount will become this 15 this is 15,000 times 1.06 15,000 times 1.06 times again 1.06 because this is again increasing at a rate of 6% which is nothing but 15,000 15,000 times 1.06 times 1.06 okay and that is same as 15,000 times 1.06 to the power 2. And 2, you can understand, is for 2 years. So let us use a calculator. So which is 15,000 times 1.06 squared, which is 16,984, which is 16,984. What was the 54? Sorry, 54. 54. So does it make sense? Uh, so if 15,000 becomes 16,984, what's the compound interest? So compound interest is 16,954. Take away 15,000, which is 1,000, uh, 16,854, sorry. 16,854. That's what I was getting confused. So this is 1,000, 1,854, which is what we got uh, doing in two years. So yeah, basically it's very simple. If you want to find compound interest, say, if the question is what is compound, what is the amount after say 10 years, say after 10 years, what would be the amount? It will be simple. 15,000, the rate is, it's increasing at rate of 6%, so the factor is 1.06 raised to 10. So in this way, what's the problem is you have to do it 10 times, whereas here, if you, you it's better to have a graphic cal or a, cal a simple calculator. So this will be 15,000 times 1.06 raised to 10. And this is the power of compound interest. So that is $26,863 if you want to write in 26863. So it is $26,863. That is $26,863 you will get after 10 years.